The return to your body feels like waking after a fitful drunken sleep. The rocking of the ship sends pain jolting through your limbs. Crashing waves hammer inside your skull. Adair watches over your body with a glazed look, taking long, even tokes from his pipe. At the first movement of your chest, he starts. His gasp, mid-puff, sends him coughing and straining for breath. No, there's no way. You're awake. What are you doing awake? How are you feeling? Me? You don't remember? Adair points at his face, which he seems to be arranging into his most recognizable expression. Receiving no response, he shrugs. I'm the captain of this boat, and I was real big back in Deerwood. Had this keep called Cadnua. I was famous. And I was what you'd call a watcher. I'd go around talking to dead folks and creeping out just about everyone who saw. He holds up his hands with fingers curled to mimic claws. You, you're just some farmer. Likes to follow me around. Take most of the beating for me when we get attacked. Don't worry, it'll all come back. Well, maybe it was you who was going around being a creepy watcher. I get mixed up easily. But that fortress was mine, I remember that. Anyway, you didn't answer my question. How you feeling? Sure. You've been out a long time. I hate to cast a pall over your recovery, but I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. The voice echoes from inside the bust. The remains of the steward of Cad Nua. Cad Nua has been destroyed. Aethus possessed the statue of Maros Nua and rose from the ground, consuming the souls of all nearby. It is only by the exceptional strength of your soul that you survived. And even then, just barely. The further Aethus withdrew, the weaker you became. We chartered this ship and followed him to the Deadfire Archipelago. I know not how, but it seems he has retained a piece of your soul. And proximity to it has brought you back. How could you know all that? You've been faking on us. He pokes at your shoulder with one finger. Misfortune's brewing topside. We... Magrans fires the captain stirs. An older man with ale-sour breath rubs his bloodshot eyes and stares at you. Engrim, the smell of drink on your breath could wake the very dead. Now what's this about? Pirates. They're demanding parley with you, Captain. I know this is asking a lot, but you better arm yourself and get on deck. Should be some gear in there. He indicates a nearby wardrobe. All right, now make some use of it. The pirates of Deadfire are notorious. I suggest you deal with them quickly. Get armed and suited up. We gotta get on deck. If we don't get out there now, we'll have to... Well, what have we here? A little sloop? Lost and alone in the storm? I'll be taking your ship now, if you don't mind. And especially if you do. Well, at least he asked. I am a gentleman of fortune. Give her up easy and I'll see you get a swift death. It'll be bloody and agonizing, sure. But at least it'd be quick.
And then he's going to wear his breeches on his head and dance for us? Did I hear that right? Aye, but the breeches are gonna be stitched from your skin. You got a smart mouth on ya. Careful. That'll get you killed faster than any blade. Listen up, mates. I'm off to spear me a bigger fish. One with sharper teeth like. I'm trusting you lot not to cock this up. Don't damage the sloop when you take it. Play with the crew if you'd like, but don't Bring me any prisoners. None that are alive. You heard, Benwick! Spread out, spread out! They're coming around this way! After him! Take cover! <laughs> 